Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. Marketing master Jim Ackerman here with Biz Kaboom's next episode of Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where I'm going to show you an advertising specimen and you determine whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly from a marketing effectiveness perspective before I reveal the actual truth to you. You know what? There was such an emphasis on digital marketing these days, I thought it was time to take a look at a website, and here's the one that I've decided to take a look at, okay? This is from O.C. Tanner, one of the highest-end jewelers in America, uh, located right here in Salt Lake City. And you tell me whether you think this is a good, bad, or ugly website. And remember, you're focusing on not just the aesthetics, although the aesthetics have an a role to play, but you're looking at whether you think it's effective or not. And how do you measure the effectiveness of a website in the first place? Give that some thought as you look closely at this home page. And shoot, you can even go to your browser, or type in OC Tanner and, and uh, spend some time on their site and make your determination that way. But at the end of all that, start the video again, assuming you've paused it to make your uh, evaluation, and I will come back and tell you whether this particular website is really good, bad, or ugly. Okay, if you voted yes on this one, it is good from an aesthetic point of view. It's a beautiful website. The design is congruent. It's got uh, uh, wonderful colors to it, a richness, a depth that uh, bespeaks the kind of quality of jeweler O.C. Tanner is. But there's some problems. There's no headline. Here. Well, I take it back. There is a headline here. It's not really a headline. It's a quote from... Obert Clark Tanner, who's the founder of O.C. Tanner, it says, people who buy jewelry are unlike people in any other store. They are dreamers. They have stars in their eyes, unquote. Frankly, I don't know if he ever really said that or not, but it's a good story and he's sticking to it or they're sticking to it. The question is, does it make you want to spend more time on the website? Does it make you want to push the buttons on the website? Does it want to make you dive in? Is there anything here that makes you want to leave your contact information so that they can provide you with additional information? And the answer, sadly, to that is a resounding no. You know, in today's world of marketing, you've got two jobs, and you must do both of those jobs. Job one is to generate leads. Today's millennial doesn't buy exactly the way his or her parents or grandparents did. There's no impulse to the process. There's research that takes place. There's a cultivation of a relationship. And your website should be an entree to that in that it has one and one function only, which is to get you to reveal your name and contact information, nothing less than an email address, perhaps even more. This website doesn't do that. And most websites don't do it. It doesn't matter whether you're a manufacturer, wholesaler, retailer, service company, or professional. Most websites do not offer you anything that makes you say, I got to have that and I'm willing to surrender my name and email address, at least, in order to get it. That's O.C. Tanner's guilty of that, as are most of the websites, the millions of them in the world. O.C. Tanner's website is beautiful, but it, from an aesthetic point of view, but it's only an online billboard and doesn't do anything to suck you in. Therefore, despite its aesthetic beauty, the master has to say, ugly, from a marketing perspective. Well, regardless of what you thought of this particular specimen, there's more to come. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and we will continue to nurse you along in your quest to get more customers who will pay you more money more often fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible.